Hello, everybody. We're on the episode five of Dave Dog's TV shows and movie reviews. And today we're going to be reviewing Oppenheimer as in the last video, I reviewed Barbie, which I actually saw right before Oppenheimer with the boys. And uh, my friends were more in to the Oppenheimer. Like, no, we were into both, but the Oppenheimer is something they were real hyped up because they knew, they knew, they understood it a lot because it had to do with stuff like the, the uh, Holocaust and just things like that. And I knew a lot about it and just a lot of war terms and stuff that they use like communism and things like that, that I didn't understand quite as much. But um, I would just say, I wish they shortened the movie to at least two hours and 30 just too long for me. I had to take bathroom breaks during it. I, I, I couldn't sit through a three hour movie staring at a screen. I was getting uncomfortable in my chair and we had to sit more in the front row so I was just looking up a little bit. It just, it was just, if I would have made the movie, I would just say put it two and a half hours. That would have been good. But three hour movie, I mean, I don't know if I've ever sat through a three hour movie anyway. But um, to get into the plot of the movie, I mean, Oppenheimer, the one playing Oppenheimer, or just, I'll just say Oppenheimer, has to, is hired to try to make a atomic bomb. And he taught a class how to make the atomic bomb. And he has to set out on a mission to get it done. And the cinematics on it, and about when the atomic bomb went off, I like that part, when there was... It preparing for the explosion that part I love that was my favorite part but I mean just the stuff what they were talking about and I think they have all these separate conversations like it was a movie that was like going from different parts like from one part and then back to the other and like flip-flopping between them all and I just wish it would more of a flow where one right after the other I see that they were calling but it was just being like, wait, this happened then, but then this, like, I was just getting a little confused. So, I mean, that's one thing I would take off the movie. Now, I did enjoy, the, like, the acting. The acting was great. Um, again, that, the two things I would say is just make it more of the movie flow and make it a little shorter. Because I can't sit through that. So, I mean, my, bo my friends enjoyed it probably definitely more than me. I mean, a lot of people are saying this is a cinematic ma masterpiece, and Barbie and Barbieheimer was the big thing is the big thing going on right now. And I'm I'm happy to say that I was involved with doing that, and we both we saw it on both movies on the day that it came out. So big crowd for Oppenheimer, decent crowd for Barbie. I'm happy to say that I was part of doing that trend that many people got to do. Are, are going to do now it's a tiktok thing it's just the whole thing like that so overall now i'll give it a rating and the rating i'm gonna give it is an 8 out of 10. it was not much i i didn't hate hate it okay and this is a good rating i did enjoy the acting and the cinematic effects and things like that but yeah as i told you before what i would take off of it that's the reason why I didn't give it a 10 out of 10 or a 9 out of 10. It just, things like that. And it could have been shorter, but I mean, everything inside the movie, like obviously I'm not taking it off because I don't understand what they're talking about. That's separate. That's why I just didn't enjoy the movie as much. Like I, I couldn't stay focused in it because it was a little boring in my opinion. But I mean, just the acting and, and that made it a, pretty good movie all right so overall i definitely would recommend the oppenheimer it's not like i wouldn't recommend it depending on you know your liking and if you could sit through three hours then go right ahead be my guest anyway that's gonna do it for this review i will see you guys in the next one and yep peace out